This is Joy of Heaven, Saint of the Day for July 29th. As we celebrate the Feast of Saint Martha's Day. Saint Martha was the sister of Mary and Lazarus, as scripture tells us. She is mentioned in the Gospels of Luke and John. Jesus rebuked Martha's task-minded behavior while he was in her home, in the Gospel of Luke. Though many might think of Martha in a negative light because Jesus rebuked her behavior, the other mention of her in the Gospel shows that she grew greatly in faith and love of Jesus. Saint Martha was from a small village called Bethany, which was near Jerusalem. We know very few details about Martha's life, except that she had a brother named Lazarus and a sister named Mary. In Luke 10 38 42, we learn that Jesus came to Bethany and that Martha welcomed him there. When Jesus was in her home, Mary busied herself with serving tasks in order to be hospitable to Jesus. But Martha's sister Mary sat at Jesus' feet in order to listen to him. Martha was frustrated that Mary had left her to do the serving tasks alone. But Jesus told Martha that her sister had chosen the better part. The kindness in his gentle response to Martha shows that he had affection for her. This story of Martha while Jesus was in her home is the only information the Gospels tell us about her, except for the story contained in the Gospel of St. John. In John 11, 1 to 44, it says that Martha and Mary's brother Lazarus was terribly ill. Martha and Mary sent word to Jesus about Lazarus' illness, but Jesus did not come to them before Lazarus died. Shortly after Lazarus' death, Martha was mourning her brother's death with some others when she learned that Jesus was on his way to them. As soon as she learned this, she immediately left the other mourners in her home and went out to meet him. Once she met Jesus, she said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Then, Jesus told her that Lazarus would rise. Not fully understanding his meaning, Martha responded that she knew Lazarus would rise at the resurrection at the end of time. After this, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live, and everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Then, Jesus asked Martha if she believed what he had said. She told him, Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. Nothing further is known about the remainder of Martha's life or her death, though one legend says that she may have traveled to France with her sister during the early days of the church. Saint Martha is the patron saint of cooks, homemakers, and domestic workers. You can ask her to pray for you if you are a cook, a homemaker, or a domestic worker. Or you can ask her to pray for someone you know in one of these professions. Saint Martha is also the patron saint of single laywomen. You can seek her intercession if you are a single laywoman, or you can seek her prayers on behalf of a single laywoman whom you know. Additionally, Saint Martha is the patron saint of travelers. You can ask her to pray for you if you are traveling, or you can ask her to pray for someone you know who is traveling. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.